Ben Hardy here, and today we're gonna to be going over the 2020 F-150 Raptor and comparing it to the 2020 Ram 1500 Limited Black Appearance Package. And this one has a Corsa exhaust, as you heard at the beginning of the video. So I know these are two completely different trucks, off-road versus luxury. However, they're pretty similarly priced, so that's why we're gonna compare them to each other. But as always, we're gonna do a walk around on both of them, comparing them, and then we're gonna finish things off with which one I think is the best route to go. Big shout out and thank you to Larry H. Miller, Dodge Ram, Jeep Chrysler here in Sandy, Utah for providing us with the limited and a big shout out to Ben Hardy, which is me obviously, for providing us with the Raptor. Let's get into the video. So we're gonna go into the hoods of both of the trucks. Let's start with the Raptor first and foremost. So under the hood of here, we have a twin turbocharged 3.5 liter V6. It goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 450 horsepower and then 510 pound feet of torque. And then fuel economy is 15 around town and then 18 on the highway. Now over to the Ram, we have a naturally aspirated 5.7 liter Hemi V8 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. So two more gears over there for the Raptor. Power outputs are 395 horsepower and then 410 pound-feet of torque. All the limiteds now come standard with e-torque, so they get an additional 130 pound-feet of torque just off of the line. Fuel economy is gonna be 17 around town and then 22 on the highway. Let's go over things on the front end. Let's start with the Raptor first and foremost. So we've got this sport hood right there and it's actually active, which is really cool. A lot of manufacturers will have sport hoods, but they won't be active. Um, we've got the little side venting right there, which is also active on the Raptor. And then you can see the cool LED lights with all the marker lights on the front end. So it's a really cool look. They have to have that because the Raptor is so wide. You can see that there on the side with the wide body. Full LED headlights. You've got the off-road bumpers, skid plates just down below, and then the tow hooks on the front. Big chunky Ford lettering. And then you see the camera on the front of the Raptor. And then I love how you can kind of see through the bumper. You can see into the suspension, all that kind of stuff. So it's a cool little look and then all that stuff down there. But Heading over to the Limited, full LED lights on this as well, and actually we should go to the hood first and foremost. So we've got the fake vents, but they do look really cool. And then up top as well. Um, and then like I said, you've got those lights. Accent lights are just right there. Blacked out front grille, blacked out bumper. You've got your fog lights, tow hooks, parking sensors in the front. And then there's a camera right there at the bottom of the A and the Ram logo. So again, two completely different looks. You got like a standard body truck that's just kind of like that blacked out luxury look, whereas this is obviously the wide bodied off-road Baja look. We have two completely different setups on the side. We've got 22 inch rims, 285 millimeters on the Ram. We've got 17 inch rims, but we've got 315 millimeters. So those are actually 35s on the Raptor. So obviously straight use versus off-road use, completely different. And then you can see kind of like the side. So you can see that wide body on the Raptor with the venting there on the side, huge fender flare. See the Limited does have a fender flare, but it's not nearly as large. And you can see the Ram kind of pops out. It's got a little bulge on the front, but not too much happening right there. Ram logo here on the side. There is no Limited logo on the black appearance package. You can see it there, it's just all blacked out. It does have side steps. Those will pop out when we open up the truck. This one, the side steps are fixed and it says Raptor on the back of them. And then you guys can look at the rear here. So again, Wide body on the Raptor, you can see that look right there versus limited with the standard body. But again, it does have a little, little bulge. And let's head to the rear. So we've got the key fob here for the Raptor. We've got a couple functions, your unlock, your lock, remote start and tailgate release. So if we press the lock function and press remote start twice, that'll start up that 3.5 liter twin turbo V6. And no, it doesn't sound as good as the Ram, but I mean, it's, it's something. And if I press it again, that'll shut it off. And then if you press the tailgate release function, that'll slow lower down the rear tailgate. This one does not have a bed liner. It's a, like I said in my other video, $575 option. So it's kind of crazy. You got your LED bed lights right there. Those are the cargo tie downs on the sides of the bed. You got the LED cab lights up there. And I said this in another video, but I think those are up there because it like, it's kind of like a crown at the top of the truck at nighttime because it's always on at night. And so it's because it's, it's supposed to be the king of the trucks, but. Yeah, anyways, you got a little bed step back here, so you press this, you can pull it down, and this will help getting in and out of the bed a whole lot easier, so you can like pull this up and basically step on that, get into the bed, but it does make the bed a whole lot heavier. And yeah, let's head over the Ram now. Here's the key fob for this Ram 1500 Limited, so you've got the same functionality on it. You've got your unlock, your lock, that's actually the tailgate release, air suspension, then remote start, remote start, you just have to press it twice, and then it'll automatically do it, and this will sound a whole lot better. I really don't need to say anything. 
But anyways, if you press this button, that'll actually slow lower down the rear tailgate. You can see this one has a plastic covering on the back of the bed, full bed liner standard on the limiteds. You've got LED bed lights in the back. You've got all your tie downs right there as well. This one has the trifold tonneau cover from the factory that comes with the Black Prince package. Cab lights up there, they aren't LEDs like in the Raptor, they're um, just the halogens. This one though has the multi-function tailgate. So I will be lifting it up, it's kind of heavy, but you can open it up um, like barn doors with the multi-function tailgate. So a little package right there. You can only get this on a 5.7 bed. You cannot get this on a long bed ram. And yeah, so that tailgate's pretty heavy. Now we've got to lift up the Raptor tailgate just right after so we can kind of compare. So lifting this one up, um, that one is, well, they're kind of the same. They're both really heavy if you do the multi-function tailgate and if you do the little bed step thing. So yeah. I'll go over stylistic elements. Start with the Raptor. So we can see that we've got the full LED lights back here. That's for the like, little blind spot monitoring system. It says Ford on the back Raptor. F-150 there on the other side. Dual outlet exhaust. Looks cool from the factory. You've got your little tow hooks on the back as well. Little receiver hitch just down below and then you've got all your plugins for towing right there and then you can see the wide body look from the rear i think it's a really cool look especially right over there you can kind of see the front i just think it's a cool look in general but now going over to the ram we can see that we've got blacked out ram badging limited right there it says four by four then you can see the massive exhaust tips on that corsa exhaust that obviously is aftermarket not from the factory but it sounds fantastic receiver hitch down below better your plugins for towing right there and then the whole tail light is going to be blacked out here in the middle and then you got full leds right around and that's the sensor so sensor there sensor there now let's head inside now to the rear of the raptor we can see you've got this rubber stuff right up here pretty hard to the touch carbon fiber trim right there you've got your cup holders speaker for the sound system now we can see this one has the recaro seat package so full blue seats you got nice blue stitching cup holders that pull out from this little area right here so you press this button and then the cup holders will pop right out. And then over here, you've got the little vents right there. You got heated seats, a couple charging stations just down below, full rubber floor mats all the way across. And then we can pick this seat up, extra storage underneath there. And then you can see the backs of the seats, just how those look. And then you got the suede that goes around, which is pretty cool. And just one more look at the rear of the Raptor. Ooh, there's the power running boards. Now we can see the door panel on the back of the Limited, significantly nicer than what's in the Raptor. So you got this really premium leather. You got the nice leather up here with the embroidering, wood trim, more leather up top, all this kind of stuff. Speakers look nicer as well. And then we can see the full seats. Now this is where I kind of changed my opinion. So this definitely is nicer leather on the seats. I just prefer the look of the seats on the Raptor a little bit more. Um, but yeah, you can see the seats, full leather. It's got the nice embroidering on them. Again, definitely more premium. And then you got this little center console on the back which this functionality definitely better than what the Raptor has. Cup holders, got a little center console. Now up here, you've got more cup holders, wood trim up there, all your charging stations, vents on top of that. And then we can actually lift up the seat to reveal extra storage. And there's hidden ice buckets under these limited formats. So those actually function as little ice buckets that, you know, you just throw a couple beers in there. Am I allowed to say that on YouTube? You, I don't know. Beer buckets. Got key entry in the Raptor, so one touch to lock it, to unlock it. Just put your hand on the back of the door handle, and it'll unlock. Now the panel in the front of the Raptor is nicer than the one in the rear, but still not as nice as limited. So you got this nice padded leather, but then again, all the hard stuff up here. Carbon fiber, got a little door handle right there. Window controls in this area, and then your mirror controls. Mirrors are power folding. Got your memory seat function, lock and unlock, and then another speaker for the sound system. Now the seats in the front, I absolutely love the look of them. So this is wrapped at the top. Really nice bolsters on them. Again, all the Alcantara power seats. You've got the lumbar support on them. It says Ford Performance right there. Pedal layout just down below. Fully power adjustable pedals. You've got your parking brake. You've got all of your lights. So you just leave in automatic mode typically on that. That's your little cargo light right there. And then these are lights on these sides right here. I actually like the trim around these vents. I think it's nice. Steering wheel is gonna be power adjustable and then massive paddle shifters. So I've got the Kia Sentry on the RAM as well, so one touch to lock it, to unlock it, again on the back of the door handle, and woo, power running boards again. Now you can see the door panel, definitely significantly nicer than what's on the Raptor. Again, really nice leather trim, wood trim, more leather up top with this leather and the embroidery. 
you got the memory seats and then the speakers look really premium in the limited. All of your controls for the windows, power folding mirrors, all that kind of stuff. And then here's the seats in the front. So again, I actually like the seats in the Raptor a little bit more, but I mean, I like sportier seats. These definitely are more luxury. The leather is nicer on them, comfier. The bolsters are wider. So if you're a bigger person, you're gonna be more comfortable in these seats. Fully powered, just both the lumbar support right there. And then see the pedal layout just down below. Floor mats are definitely cleaner, so that's a plus. Parking brake, you've got your power adjustable pedals, you've got your light controls, fog lights, cargo light right there, and then the steering wheel is actually manually adjustable and no paddles. Now start up the Raptor, put your front on the brake, push the push start, and it'll start right up. It'll say built Ford tough, and everything will come to life. So here's the steering wheel in the Raptor, so you can get a full view. I like the little red marker at the top of the steering wheel. Definitely a really good look for it, but if we zoom in, we can see that we've got the controls for the voice commands right here. You've got your different drive modes and your steering modes, we'll go over that momentarily blue contrasted stitching. This is like the same colors like the fenders, it says Raptor right there. Ford logo on the center. And then you can see that we've got the controls for the center stack right there, cruise control. Um, and then you got the paddles on the back of the steering wheel to shift the gears yourself. Definitely feel really nice, look really nice. And then you got your little stock there to, of course, flash the brights, because that's all they're meant for, is to blind people. Let's get to the center. So we've got our gauges, RPMs on the left side and the right side, you've got your speed, and then you've got a couple different screens that you can scroll through to give you different bits of info. I like the off-road stuff, so I like the off-road status. I think it's a cool little page on it. I usually just leave mine to be a Speedo, for example, but here's all the different pages you can scroll through. And like I said, I just keep mine to be a Speedo. Now the cool part is the steering mode. So you've got your sport, comfort, normal. I usually keep it in sport because it's the nicest. And then drive mode, you've got normal, deep snow, Baja, rock crawl, slippery. Oh, it stopped me. Then you got tow haul mode and then it's sport again. And then wait for it, normal mode. We got our auto stop start camera system. We've got our hazard lights, off-road cruise control, stability control, and then here's the full center stack. So we're actually gonna do the cameras first. You can see that we've got a frontal camera with the bird's eye view. And then you got front camera again, and then more front camera with some different angles out to the side. So this will help out with off-roading, keep you safe, all that kind of stuff, and then make parking this truck a lot easier because of how wide it is. And if we actually pop it in reverse, you can see the backup camera will pop up, got trajectory lines, zoom in function on that. So if you are towing with this, even though this truck doesn't tow very well, you can. Um, and then here's the whole infotainment system. So compared to Ram's infotainment system, you'll see that when I play with it, this one just isn't as responsive, but I mean, it's still a pretty good unit. Um, you got a couple cool functions. You do get ambient lighting in this, so they'll like light up the you know doors, cup holders, footwells, all that kind of stuff. So that's pretty cool on it. Um, Pretty good functionality, pretty similar functionality to the RAM, just not as big of a touchscreen, really. There are volume controls, and radio controls, all that kind of stuff. Down here is our climate controls. It is a dual zone climate. You get heated and ventilated seats and a heated steering wheel on top of that. The steering wheel control is only in the touchscreen. You've got this little storage area, which if you press this, that'll cover it up. It's all carbon fiber, so it's a pretty cool look right there. A couple charging stations in there. Cup holders here on the side, and then here's the shifter for that 10-speed automatic. So finished in carbon fiber since this has the Recaro seat package. You can shift the gears yourself if you, if you want, if you're in the manual mode down there, or you can use the paddles. I prefer the paddles. They definitely have a nicer feel to them and just makes the driving more fun. In general, we've got a lane departure assistance, full center console. Again, you've got the Alcantara there on the side, you've got the contrast stitching, and if you pick it up, you can see decent amount of storage space. It's got that tray on it. But Ram's gonna win in the center console game. You'll see when we get there. We've got this cool stitching at the top, leather trim. You've got carbon fiber trim right here. Up top, we've got these little auxiliary switches, which are pretty cool when you turn them on. They go orange, letting you know that they're on. Just lets you add auxiliary accessories. Now we've got a power rear setting window, which now I can open because it's finally stopped raining. Full panoramic sunroof here in the Raptor. Those controls are right over there, and then those are the controls for the shade, and then got a little sunglass holder, which is pretty normal. And then universal garage door opener next to my garage door opener, because I don't use this, because I'm I'm lazy. I'm gonna start up the limited, just put your front of the brake, push the push start, and it'll start right up with the course exhaust, which is pretty cool. It says limited right there in the center. Here's the steering wheel in the limited, so definitely like the steering wheel on the Raptor. However, this does have nicer materials, I will say that. We can zoom in. You've got your controls for the cruise control, adaptive cruise control, your gear selector if you want to manually shift the gears yourself, which not as responsive as the Raptor when you do the manual shifts, um, but I mean, nonetheless, when you're towing and all that, you can still use it. Nice wood trim at the top, so this is a really nice touch. I feel like the Raptor should have this same like design where it has something up top, but instead of wood, like have carbon fiber at the top, that'd be a cool touch. Listen to me, Ford, just trust me on that. Wood trim just down below. 
We've got this for the center stack, voice commands, radio controls are on the back of the steering wheel here on the Ram, and then you've got your turn signal and then also windshield wiper stock right there. We've got our gauges in the Limited that are kind of illuminated in this blue, which is a really cool look in my opinion. And you can see that you've got your vehicle info. I mean, functionality on this is all pretty much the same as the Raptor, which, wait, go back up. This truck so far is getting the same fuel economy as what I'm getting in my Raptor, so I think I'm winning then, kind of, am I? It sounds better though, so. Now I would like put that hallelujah music right now going to this touchscreen, but then I don't want to get copyrighted. So, sorry. Charging station up above, you got your lane departure assistance, you've got your hazard lights, parallel and perpendicular parking assistance. You can see you've got climate controls on both sides of the massive 12 inch screen. You can see you've got analog controls for the radio. And then down here, you've got your parking sensors, tow haul mode, stability control, air suspension. I've got it up in off-road one or two. I think it's two. Trailer brake controls. And now let's actually get into the touchscreen. So first off, go over the camera system. So you can see, putting it in reverse, bird's eye view with the little trajectory lines right there. That's what happens with that. Now, if we actually go to the, not the climate, but the controls tab, you can see we've got the backup camera. So that's where we were just at. You can zoom in on the receiver hitch if you want. Now we've got the surround view camera system. If we go to that, you can see bird's eye view. We've got the backup. You got full backup, you've got front camera, you've got more front camera with bird's eye, and then you've just got the regular backup. So the Raptor has a little bit more adjustability with the front camera, but this um, graphics wise definitely looks nicer than what's on the Ford. Um, and at nighttime, it's illuminated a little bit better. So I'd say overall, the Ram kind of wins on the camera system. Um, but going through, you can see the infotainment system, just how much quicker everything responds. Load times are pretty similar. It's just the touch response time, you know, the feedback that you get. Um, this one sound system wise is going to win because it's got the Harman Kardon sound system with the 19 speakers and a subwoofer. Oh, and I forgot to mention heated ventilated seats, heated steering wheel, and they're all on the touch screen. So there's no buttons for those. Now we've got the center console here. So it says limited at the top, got embroidering, picking it up. You can see lined with felt here. So tons of storage space. Again, you've got little measuring tables and you've got this little sliding part. So this slides back and forth. I loved it on my Rebel. More storage space underneath. So center console game, strong with the limited. You've got the charging station right there. What used to be a CD player, USBs, more charging. Well, you can just put your phone there and then you use the power outlet. And glove boxes, dual glove box in the limited. Really nice wood trim on the outside. Really nice leather above and below. So limited wins there, obviously. It says limited trim and opening up the bottom and then opening up the top, you can see has more storage space than what the Ford has in terms of glove boxes. Universal garage door openers up top. Now we've got power setting window, just like what the Raptor has. Full panoramic sunroof, still drop down the tailgate, all that kind of stuff. So up top, pretty similar to the Raptor, just no auxiliary switches in the Limited, sadly. But I mean, you're not gonna really add off-road lights to this. I mean, I want you guys to do that. Someone do that, but most people that buy this truck won't be doing that. <laughs> Now let's go over pricing on both the trucks. So this limited stickers for about $71,000 before any type of market adjustment. That exhaust, by the way, is about $1,800. This Raptor stickers for about $75,000 before any type of market adjustment. So you're about $4,000 minus the exhaust, obviously. Price difference between the two trucks. Now this is a little bit of a toss up. And like I said, they don't completely compare to each other. So obviously the Raptor way better off-road than what the limited has, but the limited has a way nicer interior looks wise. I prefer the looks of the Raptor because it has a sportier look, but I get it, you know, this blacked out look. It has that cool luxury look, so it depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for a luxury truck, Limited wins, hands down. If you're looking for an off-road truck, Raptor wins, hands down. Really what the question is, is which $70,000 truck are you gonna buy? That's, I mean, that, that, that really is the question of the day. I obviously chose the Raptor, but a lot of people choose Limited because it's better day to day. That is going to sum things up for today's video. Again, a really big shout out and thank you to Larry Schmiller, Dodge Ram, Jeep Chrysler here in Sandy, Utah for providing us with the Limited. And again, a big shout out to me for providing us with the Raptor. If you're stopping for the first time, please subscribe, comment down below what you think, and then I will see all of you in that next video.